The Shadow in the Woods In the small forgotten town of Ravenscroft, whispers of the woods' dark history lingered like a persistent fog. The dense forest, known as Blackthorn Wood, was said to be cursed, a place where sunlight dared not penetrate. Locals spoke of eerie sightings, strange noises, and shadows that moved on their own. Despite the warnings, curiosity often led the unwary to venture into the depths, never to return. One crisp autumn evening, Sarah, a young woman new to Ravenscroft, found herself drawn to Blackthorn Wood. She had always been fascinated by the supernatural and the macabre, and the tales of the haunted forest piqued her interest. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of adventure, she decided to explore the woods, eager to uncover its secrets. The entrance to Blackthorn Wood was marked by twisted, ancient trees whose gnarled branches reached out like skeletal fingers. As Sarah stepped onto the narrow, leaf-strewn path, a chill ran down her spine. The air grew colder and an unnatural silence enveloped her, broken only by the crunch of leaves beneath her feet. Deeper into the forest she went, the path becoming less distinct and more overgrown. Her flashlight flickered, casting long, eerie shadows that seemed to dance and writhe. She shook it, and the beam steadied, but the unease remained. Sarah pushed on, determined to find the heart of the mystery. After what felt like hours, she stumbled upon a clearing. In the center stood an old, dilapidated cabin, its wooden walls weathered and decayed, the windows were dark, and the door hung ajar, creaking softly in the breeze. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest, but her curiosity propelled her forward. She stepped inside, the floorboards groaning under her weight. The cabin's interior was sparse, with cobwebs hanging like delicate veils. A musty smell filled the air, mingling with the scent of damp wood. As she explored, her flashlight illuminated faded photographs on the walls depicting a family from long ago. Their eyes seemed to follow her, and she shivered. In the corner of the cabin, Sarah found a journal, its pages yellowed with age. She flipped through it, reading fragments of a story about a family who had lived in the cabin many years before. The final entry sent chills down her spine call. We should have never come here. The shadows, they watch us, they whisper in the dark. I fear we won't last the night. A sudden noise startled Sarah, and she dropped the journal. The cabin door slammed shut, and the temperature plummeted. Her flashlight flickered and died, plunging her into darkness. Panic set in as she fumbled to turn it back on. When the beam finally flickered to life, she gasped. In the corner of the room, a shadowy figure stood, its form barely discernible. It seemed to pulse and shift, as if made of living darkness. Sarah's breath caught in her throat as the figure slowly advanced. She backed away, but there was nowhere to run. The figure spoke, its voice a low, guttural whisper that echoed in her mind. You shouldn't have come here, Sarah screamed, but no sound escaped her lips. The shadows engulfed her, their cold tendrils wrapping around her body, pulling her into the darkness. Her flashlight clattered to the floor its beam casting wild, frantic arcs before finally going out. Days later, a search party found Sarah's flashlight and the journal, but there was no trace of her. The townspeople shook their heads. Another victim claimed by Blackthorn Wood. The tales of the cursed forest grew darker. The legend of the shadow in the woods forever etched in the minds of those who dared to remember. And so, the whispers continued, Warning the curious and the brave, quote, Beware the shadow in Blackthornwood, for once it finds you, there is no escape.